priests, men who have heard the universal call to holiness, men who bring the Lord's gospel to life, men who are willing to give their lives back to God and become his servant. Today, more than ever, these good and faithful people are needed and necessary. Many are hearing the call and becoming priests. With over 1,061,940 members in the Marthoma Church worldwide and only 786 priests to lead them, it's a wonder why there are so few priests. Well, to start off, the first step to becoming a priest is a special calling that not everyone may receive. Yes, a calling from God to be exact. It is a Holy Spirit that will call upon a person to proclaim the word of God. That is when the ordination process truly starts. Ordination means the action of conferring holy orders onto someone who is willing. After receiving the call from God, these yet-to-be ministers start their long road to priesthood. When they reach the age between 20 and 35, they decide they want to become an ordained minister. They can fill out an application for training. Applicants must fill out a form including information on their age, date of birth, address, name of parents and family members, name of parish and diocese, academic qualifications, and yes, that does include Sunday school, involvement in athletics and sports, hobbies and pastimes, and a handful of other stuff. When application is filled out, it gets sent to the Vaidika Selection Committee, where they decide whether the applicant is ready for a formal education. Once selected by the Vaidika, the applicant can attend the Bible Institute of the Marthama Church. Here students can get four-year ministerial training, each year spanning eight semesters. They also receive six months of practical training where they will sharpen their knowledge about administration, management, accountancy, constitution of the church, and liturgy. Four years in the Bible Institute of the Marthoma Church's purpose is to provide special training, courses, lectures, and seminars on religious, social, and theological subjects for yet-to-be clergy members. The Vatica also performs annual evaluations on a trainee to check their academic performance. The committee can pull you out at any time for any reason. A final interview prior to the ordination service will conclude the training period. Now comes the ordination ceremony. A ceremony held in a local Marthoma church conducted by the bishop. The members of the church recognize the trainee as a minister while he is ordained publicly and his vow before God and the church is read aloud to the assembled congregation. His dedication for the ministry and the commitment to the call are marked as he makes the sign of the cross and puts his signature on the ordination register kept in the church. The yet-to-be priest takes a vow to not drink. During the service, the minister's hair is also cut in the pattern of a cross a process called amalogia. It symbolizes the divine ministry he is about to partake in. He is handed a Bible to authorize him to preach the teachings of God, and also a vestment called kappa for the administration of sacraments. In the end, an ordination is a gateway for a regular person to become something bigger in the church. And what produces our loyal clergy?